we're gonna try Hydrissia. Every day we're gonna be trying a new hero that was buffed up. See how the changes are. This is a really good change for her. We're seeing AoE damage pretty much nonstop. It used to be she had a 50% chance to get a proc for this additional AoE damage of 50%. And then if you have her second ascended, it's 80% damage, which 80% would be really strong because I have 100% damage every two turns on my Ciara and she does really good damage. Right now, though, at 50%, it's a little lackluster compared to my other nukers. That's all I'm going to say about it. I think she's really good now because we get a 15% chance per valid hit to get this AoE now. That just means that if we hit one target, we have a 55% chance to do an AoE. If we hit two targets, we get a 70% chance and so on. The more targets we have out there, the more likely it is she's going to do an additional AoE hit on any of her attacks. And then if I do have her second ascended one day, I think I'm going to really fall in love with playing her. She does a mass amount of damage here and then another hit. And then, of course, we can always proc that additional hit. Here we do AoE with slow speed down. We're going to test this in the tower hard as her being our fastest one because right now you can see she has 183 speed. Everybody else at really slow speeds. And then she's going to drop the enemy team after killing the first wave with her ultimate. She's going to go in then and drop the speed of the enemy team at that last wave. And then maybe I don't have to have as much speed on the rest of my team. We'll try that out. Right now we're going to go into Ash Magisteria, show you that she can be your solo person to AOE down all the imps. I'm going to put in some different spells than you might normally see. I was just playing around. This is not a valid team to use for your Ash 12 runs. I don't think it's going to be consistent at all. I just wanted to bring in single target damage dealers along with Hydrissia as our only aoe -er so that we could show that she can take care of all the imps, that we don't need help from Nat, that we don't need help from other people to do AoE damage like Ciara's passive. We, she can do it now by herself consistently, which is really good. The first wave is usually no problem, but she passed her turn. The way I did these spells, she came in there and she passed her turn to Gorel, which is really weird. But it worked out. It worked out really well for Bran to remove the bomb. Brand's on a four turn cooldown, which is not good for this, is your bomb removal. So that's why this team is not a legit team. Somehow, we just got through here when I was playing around with different comps so that he would line up to remove the bomb. If Brand would remove the bomb every time, he'd be great for this. AoE, that's her ultimate ability. Now we've got her special that's going to come around. And then, of course, we have her basic with a high chance to do an AoE second attack with it. I mean, all of them have a high chance. The, the other ones, if there's imps out, they're going to do a second attack because we're hitting multiple targets. So that's going to be 15%, 15% added up. She's always going to AoE on the special and the ultimate. She's going to get that extra AoE. So we're just taking this up. We're doing a lot of single target damage with Lydia and Gorel. He's my new favorite, so I got to play him everywhere. A little bit slow of a fight, but again, all we wanted to see was the kind of damage she can do. Plus, she's putting up that slow speed of 30% of actually 30 less speed. It's not percent. Here are the imps. And that's really all we need in Ash, right? We need a way to get rid of the bomb. Of course, a way to survive. And then we need somebody to AoE. We have to have a hero to AoE down these imps or we're going to be in trouble. There are other ways to get around it. There are there are actually other easy Ash teams. If you have Nat along with Mary and the Frost Wolf. Very easy team. But I guess the real thing is, the real thing here is just to see how much better Hydrissia is now. And I really do like her. If you're gonna farm her in campaign, take her in there as your campaign farmer now. I think you're gonna feel a lot better about her. Take her into the tower to do AoE damage on the waves to the final wave, or even when you get to the final wave, I think she's very solid. She's got a slow speed and damage. Now, I don't think she's going to take the place of Nat as far as an AoE nuker, but she's getting better. She's definitely getting better. If you have a fully ascended Nat or even a second ascended Nat, you get 40% additional damage once you have four buffs on and you hit all targets out there. So all in all, I think Nat is still doing more damage than she is. 
but we'd have to test them out. We'd have to put them in the same gear and test them out. Although she's in an Avra set. I didn't show you the gear on her. We have her in an Avra set to do 50% additional AOE damage. We've got her with speed boots and a broken set, critical damage here, and attack on the end. So she's pretty fast, which, which is fine. We want her to be pretty fast if she's going to be our main AOE nuker in Ash Magisteria. She needs to go before the imps go, before the boss goes, so that she can get two rounds of doing AOE damage to the imps before they decide to come and attack. Before the boss does that big mega bazooka explosion. So with those speed boots, we've got 3,300 attack, 100% chance to crit, and 261 critical damage. And then, of course, she's fully glyphed out. Let's go take her into the tower so we can get that decreased speed on the second wave. Gorel isn't that fast. Ciara is actually pretty slow. She's going to go first. Hydrissia, she's going to AoE with her ultimate, take down the wave very easily. And then when we get to the very last wave, she's going to slow speed that wave. With damage, of course. And we'll get an additional proc since we get 15% additional per hit. Easy for that wave. Plus, we've got Ciara. I forgot we have Ciara here. We should probably take her out, but we're going to need her on this wave. Let's look at the turn order. Look at the turn order down low. Everyone just got slower. My guys don't have to necessarily be as quick. As long as taking them down by 30 makes us step up. You know, Then they can go in front of them. I'm pretty sure you understand what I'm saying. I believe Hydrissia is coming into her own. You guys let me know how you feel about her down below. Let me know where you've been playing her, what kind of gear you're using on her. What kind of situation is she really shining compared to using a fully decked out Natalia? Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Please subscribe if you haven't. I will see you all in a video soon.